Let's start with this Jeff Bezos thing on the. Well, you want to start here. with the smooth man, do you? Yeah, we'll always start with the smooth man. So, um, so go ahead. So let's look at this article here. Jeff Bezos, two million dollar, two billion dollar donation to build preschool and fight homelessness. And this Slate article goes is well morally complicated. I don't think it's morally complicated at all. Uh, but what do you think, Jerry? What do you think of that headline? Uh, I get what they're saying. Um, but again, uh, while two billion is a lot, it's it's nothing to c- compared to what he owns. Right. So that's the point, right? Jeff Bezos is worth a hundred and what sixty something billion dollars. Yeah, I was telling my little sister about uh, Bezos because she was talking about um, sweatshops, and I was talking about Amazon and uh, sweatshops at home. We looked, yeah. yeah, we looked up the number <laughs> that Bezos. She googled him to see what the Bezos number was, and it was just something I couldn't even. She was like, "How do you even say this number?" I was like, I <laughs> "So, like, so, let's just do some quick math here." So Jeff Bezos gave two billion dollars of his one billion, of his one hundred and. Uh, 68 billion dollars to to charity that is meaningless to his life because i mean let's say it's what under two percent right of his net worth uh, yeah right yeah. under two percent that's of being his, that's being nice i think right well two percent would be like two two billion of a hundred billion would be two percent so he's got a hundred he's so what is it, a, a percent and a half right so if you let's say so I looked this up the average household net worth is $97,000. And if we go if we go 2% okay of $97,000 that would be like if you gave one year $1,000 $1,940 to charity. <laughs> so so nothing. That's all. I mean, and maybe less, that's. And I less, would call you a really good person if you gave a thousand nine hundred dollars to charity. Less than my rent a month that right. I pay. And I would say that's still a, a good year. person. Most people probably don't give that, but a thousand nine hundred and forty dollars is going to affect your life way more. Uh, di- that's yeah, that's a TV you can buy. That's a new computer. That's a car fix. That's a that's normal things for you that you need. It's, it's anything. Yeah, Two anything. billion dollars out of his one hundred and sixty something billion, he won't. He could give fifty billion, and his life wouldn't change at all. So it's and it's the other thing that I wanted to mention is it's a clear response to Bernie Sanders talking about how he has all these people on welfare, and he did the Stop right. Bezos bill. And he's attacking Bezos. He's attacking Bezos for his terrible, terrible work ethic and and business ethic. And Bezos responds with this. <laughs> it's like that's it. Nice try. Uh, you probably hey, tricked some people, but that was that was very smooth of him. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was. I think it was awkwardly not smooth. Frankly, <laughs> like I think he could have done better. It depends on, I think, where you stand and how much you know about Jeff Bezos. Right. The regular person would go, dude, did you hear Amazon gave $2 billion donation? That's true. I mean, that's what he wants. He wants the regular people to go, wow, he's building a homeless, a, a homelessness, a, a preschool to fight homelessness? Oh, my God. That's amazing. It's like... He's the man. For $2 billion, he's probably... I mean, he, if he gave $20 billion... I would have paused. I would have said, first of all, that wow. still doesn't affect his life, but that would have given me pause. I would have said, maybe he realizes after all this attack. But this, he's just trying to get this headline, and he got it. He's trying to get the headline, <sighs> and he got it from all. And this is the, this is one of the ones that's, this is one of the headlines that's actually questioning it. Yeah. Most right. of them are, look how great Jeff Bezos is. I mean, it's just insane. So. And then look up, uh, again, if you don't know anything about Jeff Bezos, look up how much money he makes every day, and you'll, you'll understand that. That's Yeah, I mentioned it in, a, in another one, but it was like in order to not make money, he would have to spend like $30 million a day or something. So he, yeah. So 
so it's not even. All I have to do to not make money is not do anything. <laughs> <laughs> Which is. He has to literally buy. Spend, spend, money spend money in order to not make money at this point. So, uh, this is not the way capitalism was meant. I mean, I don't care what you guys, you guys can argue that this is free, free market, but this is not what they meant when they made it, when they invented, when somebody came up with the idea of free market and capitalism, not what they meant. All right. People will find loopholes and, uh, right. It's a game. Take advantage. It's a game and people gain, cheated the game, paid people to, to, to cheat the game. And now all they do is all they do is win. It's not even fair anymore. All I do is win, 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 no matter what. Uh, next topic: Paul Manafort, Mike. You have some stuff. About yeah. This, so um, Paul Manafort. Just to, I mean, I don't know much about it, so we can just talk about a little bit. But um, Paul Manafort uh, plead did a plea deal with Mueller, so um, that means. Things are going to get a little hot for uh, for Trump, a little more hot than they already are for Trump. So, yeah what uh, what do you what's the best outcome for this? Best outcome? I don't know. I mean, I think um, he's probably got some dirt. Uh, I think what it is, it's about that meeting. You know that tr- that meeting they had with the Russians, mm-hmm. and I think he's just got evidence that Trump knew the meeting was a, about laundering money because there's like some they also had some recent thing about um right after right before and after the meeting and right after he became president there were two questionable large money transfers into the United States from one of the guys at the meeting from Russia like I guess he transferred like a bunch of money to New York and then s- some money from that money back to Russia, but left some in New York. Okay. And it happened right after the the Trump Russia meeting. Mm-hmm. And the guy was at the meeting. Why did he send uh... money to New York and then send more of it back? I, I mean that the like so obviously there's something going on here, and I think Manafort knows something. So a little bit of fish in the water there. Yeah. This is good, guys, uh, but um, if something does happen to Trump, I mean, this is just more, there'll just be more for the media to fire up everything and just keep keep this whole thing going while they while they pull the shade down. And um, Yeah, I would say as much as, like, covering this is important and, like, talking about it now, it's like, let's just let this thing go and start, yeah, let's cover other more things. Years. It's kind of crazy that two years has already passed. It's, you yeah. know, might as well just, I think at this point, just two more, whatever, and we'll be, hopefully we'll be done with it. One of, somebody told me the other day that they think Trump could win it again. And uh, I had never actually thought of that. I don't but. think he's going to make it, but that's my bet. I've had money on that since he got, since he got inaugurated. Mm-hmm. That I don't think he's going to. I don't think he's going to get that far. Tell us what you think, guys. Yeah, let us know what you think. You know, 